All right, I'm here with a brand new pickup video uh, going over uh, what I've picked up the last few weeks, um, most of end of March, beginning of April here. Uh, I got some good stuff. Uh, it's Usually I'd be starting garage sale season about now, but um, I don't know. The weather's just not been good lately. Usually it starts up around the end of March, and I've only been to one sale, and it was like a moving sale that was half inside, so... Um, not looking so good right now. Hopefully the weather will start getting better and we can start getting in there. But for right now, um, mostly just some store pickups and some other stuff. Uh, first stuff I'll go into was from the exchange. They have a, um, in your birthday month, if you have their membership card, they'll give you 20% off, uh, you know, whatever, a purchase. So I was saving that back. I was in the store one day. I picked up some stuff, some DS stuff, and then a game I needed to complete something. Uh, the DS stuff was actually pretty good. So I've been looking for these two games here for years now at this point. Uh, I've been wanting to add to the DS collection because they look pretty cool. Um, and uh, just so happened to find them right next to each other on the shelf. This one on top of the other on the shelf. Um, so I had to grab those. Uh, first one is uh, Ther Theresia for the DS here. Um, this game looks kind of cool. Looks kind of like a like an adventure game type thing. Looks kind of neat. I've been saw a YouTube video on it a while ago and wanted to get it. The other one I've been looking to get for a while is uh, Time Hollow, uh, which I actually played this one. This one's pretty cool. I like this. Um, pretty good game, I'd say. Um, kind of a hidden gem. It kind of pretty hard to find. So, if, but if you like like a visual novel like adventure type game, um, I'd recommend at least trying to find it, if not just emulating it. Uh, and these were under retail. I believe this one was $14. Um, and then this one was $20, I think. Um, which is a little under retail. And with the 20% off, it was a pretty nice deal. Uh, I also picked up for $10, I got... Oops, sorry about that. Got uh, Mega Man ZX for $10 here. Um, which I've never played this one, so I'm looking forward to giving that one a try. And... Uh, I didn't have this one, and I figured for 7 bucks plus 20% off, it would be a good buy. Uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Ring of Fates. So, uh, as well as the last thing I got, the bigger game I got here. Uh, if you remember when I got that box slot last video, uh, I got the $3 Super Mario RPG box. Uh, I picked up the game here now. Picked up a copy of the game. It was 55 which... That is a little above retail, but with the 20% off, it wasn't bad. Plus, I had all these gift cards, too, and trade cards and stuff. So I actually didn't pay anything out of pocket for any of this. So that was good. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Happy to get uh, Mario RPG complete uh, technically for, I don't know, what, 55? 20% off of 55 bucks plus 3 bucks, I have a complete Mario RPG, and that's pretty good. Even for a complete copy for 58, it's pretty solid, but... Um, <clears throat> next one is from my little, uh, store here that I picked up, um, those boxes from, and, uh, this place is my little bit, <laughs> a little bit of my, uh, secrets. I don't know if I want to le leak the secret out of what the store is, but I picked up some stuff there. Um, I got this copy here of Heroes of Might and Magic for, uh, $7, which, um, pretty decent, I'd say. It's complete box and everything. It has the game, the manual, and the other art paperwork in there too. It looks like. I uh, figured I'd pick it up for six or seven bucks complete. Why not? Uh, the guy, the guy that works in there is really nice. So uh, the other game I got here was uh, Contra Contra Shattered Soldier for six bucks. Um, <clears throat> which I don't know anything about this one. Uh, so once I get into the new game room, I'm gonna have to give this one a go because I don't know any, anything about this one. And currently my PS2 is not hooked up since I'm moving. So. <clears throat> and the big game I got there that day uh, was a pretty impressive deal. This thing is immaculate. Um, it looks like it's brand new. Uh, this game's immaculate. It has the, all the inserts and everything. Uh, if you follow my Instagram, you saw it already, but uh, Shining Force CD. Yeah, I give a little tease to this on my Instagram. Uh, Instagram.com says Abo, Objo Gaming. No one says Instagram.com. Just Instagram, my account's Objo Gaming. Uh, but there it is, uh, Shining Force CD. This was only $50, uh, which is about $100 less than retail. Um, and I don't have a really great Sega CD collection, so this is definitely pretty cool to have. Um, once again, once I get my systems hooked up, I want to give that one a go. Uh, right now, my Sega CD and my Genesis is not plugged in. So once I get my systems hooked back up, I definitely want to give that a go. Um, 
So that was pretty good. 50 bucks for that. I, when I saw it there, uh, especially for that price, but especially in that condition, I was like, I can't pass it up for $50. So I picked that up for sure. Uh, next thing was from a little trade I did at over at Stone Age Gamer, um, which is about maybe an hour away from where I live. So it's a bit of a haul. I don't get out there as much as I do, but I definitely recommend that you check the store out at least once. Uh, if you're ever even in Ohio, it's worth, I'd say it's worth a road trip just to check out, maybe hit some other places around the area. Um, but it's really, really great store. It's half of the fun of going there is just looking around at all the cool stuff and all the cool memorabilia they have. They have a really great set of stuff on display as well. Uh, I have a bunch of arcade cabinets and everything. They have a lot of great stuff in there. So I definitely recommend checking it out. But uh, since I'm moving, there's a lot of just extra stuff that I've built up over the years that I didn't, I don't really want. A lot of disc only games that <clears throat> I'm never going to get around to doing anything with. A lot of empty cases and some extra manuals and stuff that I just, I don't want this. I don't really know of anyone who's going to want this. Uh, just stuff that I've accumulated over the years, so I just took it to them. Uh, they gave me a really nice uh, trade offer of 90 bucks, so I just went through and picked up a bunch of stuff. Um, so I went through all their 64 stuff and uh, grabbed some some filler, uh, some stuff I didn't have. Stuff I don't see as much, some stuff I didn't have. Um, First one I got was a WCW Nitro for $5. I just got to get all these wrestling games because I honestly can't remember which ones I have and which ones I don't. Uh, so I'm just going <laughs> to, I just have to get all of these. Um, another one that I don't see too often, but I did not have was Brunswick Pro Bowling, Circuit Pro Bowling. So that was pretty cool. Uh, and really, I didn't pay much of any, when it comes down to it, um, I didn't really pay much of anything for the stuff I had there. It's just extra stuff I had. So I don't know. I'm counting this stuff, for me at least, as almost free just because it's been stuff I've had building up over the years and years I've been doing this at this point. Uh, I just realized my first pickup video went up four years ago last month, so that's pretty crazy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and so stuff's been building up since then and beyond, so I've been collecting quite close to eight years? Sounds right. I think eight years. Seven or eight years. I can't remember when I started. I think, yeah, seven years. I think I started January of 11 is when I started going. And then I started getting more serious in about 12. Um, but the other game I got, kind of off, got off topic there. The other game I got there was Virtual Chess 64, which I also don't see very often. Of course, made by Titus. Um, so it has to be a great game. Um, some other stuff, I, another 64 game I picked up uh, in the box was one I actually don't see in the box very often. I know this is just kind of a, I don't see this very often. Um, virtual pool, kind of like a budget release, uh, but virtual pool. I had the cart, but figured I'd get the a box copy. Um, it had nine on the bottom. That's how I saw it. And then they also had 15, but they did it for nine. So grab that. It was all complete and everything. Um, then also I went through the Dreamcast filler. It's getting harder for me to get Dreamcast stuff. I already don't already have. Uh, but I did not have Railroad Tycoon 2, so grabbed that guy right there. Uh, another one to add to the Dreamcast set. Always good for that. Um, some NES games I just grabbed. I was looking through their NES stuff. I always like to buy some random cheap NES stuff, especially stuff I've never heard of or don't see very often just because of how, I don't know, novel it is. Or, with the NES, you're getting these games and you're always in for something weird. Um, sometime with with some of these st games. Uh, so first I got this one. I had the manual for this actually, so I just picked up the game too. Short order and explode. Um, I've had the manual for that for a while, so I picked up the game. Um, I picked up this because it was cheap, and I don't see it very often. Uh, championship bowling. Um, and then this one I just I had to pick up. Uh, Color Color Dreams Captain Comic game. Um, I love getting these cap these Color Dream games. Because, you know, with Tengen, you know that those games are going to be at least fine, you know. Uh, but with these Color Dream games, they're just so weird. Uh, talking about the, off, like, you know, unlicensed off-brand games. The Color Dream games just get bizarre. I have um, Crystal Mines and Bible Adventures as well, so I'm just adding to that collection. And then this one, I don't know, someone's going to be like, how do you never heard of this game, you NES normie or something? I don't know. I've never seen this game, never heard of this game. Um, it has like a you know a battery in it so it must be able to save in it. it looks like a strategy game from what i can tell but i'm gonna have to try this out when i get into the new game room and get everything hooked back up uh, but i got shinjin the ruler um so that that's cool 
gonna have to give this a shot. I figured I'd get it just because I've never seen it before. I also got some manuals, nothing too interesting, just manuals I didn't have that they had there. Uh, NES Play Action Football, um, Extreme G2, and WF, WWF New, New Mercy. Uh, those are games I had the box and the carts for, but just didn't have the manuals for, so that's always good to get. Um, and then the last thing I got, grabbed there was um, a Nintendo Power issue I didn't have, um, issue 21. So, filling in that slowly but surely, I think I have about 200 of them, close to 200 any, or Nintendo Powers. Right now, I have almost all of the... I think I have almost all the N64 through GameCube era, maybe save for a few. Um, right now, I'm looking more at NES era, like early era, era stuff. I have a lot of SNES stuff, too. And a lot of it, actually, that I'm missing is the later later era, like Wii era stuff, uh, going into 3DS and Wii U era, even though I don't think they were... Oh, they were doing it a little bit after the... I think it ended when the Wii U came out, so... But, yeah, um, that's all I'm looking for at the, this point with those. I might be able to finish that set hopefully relatively inexpensively i know issue one has definitely gone down in price uh hopefully i'll be able to finish that set soon pretty inexpensively because i don't pay more than two or three bucks for nintendo powers it's just how i don't want to <laughs> uh, but that'll be all for this video i guess uh, make sure to follow me on instagram and twitter if you would like to both at Objo gaming um, make sure to leave a comment with what you've picked up lately or with uh, anything uh, making any comments on what I've picked up here lately. Uh, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Uh, and as always, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.